Hi, Thomas Brinsko here, publisher of Bic Magazine and BicMagazine.com, bringing you the weekly vlog with the big news of the week. Uh, starting out this week, Eastman Chemical and John Bell Edwards, the governor of Louisiana, co-announced that uh, they were going to be moving forward with a $70 million capital expansion, expansion of their St. Gabriel facility. Uh, big news for Louisiana, and we're real happy for uh, the folks there at Eastman. Other expansion news uh, this week, um, trending very strongly with some original Bic Magazine video content where we interviewed the president of S&B Modular, Darren Parnell. They had a huge expansion of their modular building facility out in Baytown. Uh, they were at about 50,000 square feet under roof uh, to build modular units. Uh, obviously, that's the, the big in vogue right now for capital construction. And uh, they've expanded it at least another 50%, adding uh, 24, 28,000 additional square feet. The facility is amazing, uh, 56 feet of maximum clearance inside the building. And uh, we're real proud of uh, what S&B is doing in the industry right now. <clears throat> Enios broke some big news this week that they are considering an $803 million expansion out in LaPorte, Texas. Uh, that uh, information came from an application that they made for tax abatement, so there's not a lot of information there. It's not a final decision yet, but uh, the tax documents indicated that they would be starting construction in 2021 and the uh, project would create 1,500 construction jobs. So pretty big uh, project in the works right there. Also with Enios uh, News, they announced this past week that they are going to be uh, building a 1.2 billion pound ethylene oxide unit in Chocolate Bayou, uh, just south of Houston, Texas in Brazoria County. Uh, there is uh, also of note a lot of adjacent land next to that Chocolate Bayou facility where the EO unit will be built so that interested third parties will be able to co-locate and take in the EO by pipeline directly into their new facility. Stay tuned for more news from Bic Magazine and if you're not already following us on BicMagazine.com's Twitter and LinkedIn pages please click the button below and uh, we look forward to keeping you in the news. God bless.